secondly, radiation is not even important in this thing. The important thing is what sort of carrier of the radiation are you dealing with? For instance, all the standards in Fukushima or in Chernobyl are based on cesium. Cesium is a lookalike to salt, to sodium. So therefore, a plant is fooled into thinking that it's absorbing sodium when in reality it's absorbing cesium. So the less salt, the more cesium. In other words, the plant doesn't know the difference. It's a matter of proportion. And once it is in, it distributes uh, like, I'm sorry, I misspoke. It's not cesium, it's potassium. Yes, I so, thought so. <laughs> yes. Right. So the, the point is that in the embryo, it's not going to concentrate in any particular tissue. You know, potassium is everywhere. And potassium half-life in an organism is different than, let's say, uh, uh, chrome or whatever have you. So the biologic half-life, inside of the body, what comes in gets out in about eight months. That they say. But on the other hand, you can, you can integrate uh, the molecule into a structure, let's say like a chromosome, and the chromosome is stable. So once in the chromosome, you go nowhere. You're captive. Now, the problem is that in addition, although officially it is stated that Cesium is the way to go. Uh, we uh, were a little bit skeptical about that, so we decided to measure strontium. We were told there is no strontium, we are wasting money, this is very expensive, it's a complicated test. Nonetheless, we found that there is plenty of strontium. And strontium looks like to the organism as calcium. And as we know, teeth and bones and all that bind calcium because without it you don't have the necessary stiffness in certain parts of the organism. So obviously we have not seen official measures of this particular form of radioactivity. Radioactivity is radioactivity, is energy, something that vibrates. But who is vibrating makes a difference. If the vibrator is a calcium-like, it's going to get into your skeleton and you're going to keep it forever. So the effects or the teratogenic effects of cesium against strontium, although the radiation may be exactly the same, it is concentrated in different areas of the body. And therefore, the diapason or the, or, or the range of anomalies you're going to see with one form of radioactivity and another form of radioactivity may be completely different. And this is why radiation dissymmetry is a little bit silly. It's the symmetry of what poison, mm. you see. Mm. So, you know, everything is reduced to such simplicity that it no longer makes sense to me. Mm. And yet, we need to show something that black and white that cannot be disputed. Anybody can dispute measurements of radiation. You can always introduce doubt. But a baby that has no head is a baby that has no head. And a baby that is stuck together to another baby, well, you have to be blind not to see it. So what we concentrate on are facts, on visible, indisputable facts. And then we're going to explore potential causes by prospective ways of, of doing studies if we get there. And if we don't do it, somebody might. So I hope somebody will. Did you measure things like americium and plutonium and the alpha emitters in that area, Dr. Wertelecki? Well, <laughs> you see, most States, including Ukraine, are very leery to uh, allow foreigners like me to um, uh, engage in this sort of measurements that may contradict official policy. And to do these measurements, uh, it is politic to do them in the country rather than do them 
in a export way like many people do. Uh, we have to be good citizens there because everybody who does the work does it and works and is a part of official uh, health teams that essentially have no business in the radiation uh, area. To measure these uh, forms of energy is very, very technically challenging. And in Ukraine, the technology is concentrated in one sole institute in Kiev. And to measure this sort of thing, they have, you know, in transit they change and so on. So it's a major do. We are going to measure only what is essential to measure. And at this point, I think strontium is the number one candidate. Mm. Plutonium was not a likely, uh, let's say, carrier of radioactivity in those areas, but it wouldn't hurt to know for sure. Yes. Uh, strontium is something that the United States measured consistently uh, in order to uh, determine the impact of open-air atomic bomb testing. So every time they had a, a, an explosion in Nevada, the wind would carry that toward the East Coast or New York and so on. So they were measuring not cesium, they were measuring strontium. And this was one of the reasons why I said, well, why, why aren't we measuring strontium? We did it for so many years. We measured it in milk and so on. But strontium is difficult to measure. It sort of requires some cooking and extractions and and a totally more complicated way. And cesium is practical. You just have a, an energy counter and, and push a button and read w what how many beeps you get from the energy, and that's it. Uh, and for strontium, it's much more expensive. You have to have reagents. You have to have very special equipment and so on. So you have to be economic to how far you go. I see. So from the data that you have um, compiled, could you extrapolate to the situation in Fukushima and prognosticate what might happen there, Dr. Wotelecki? Well, no, I couldn't, uh, but except just like you, uh, I read what people report. I have no personal involvement of any sort. I, I did give lectures in Tokyo and uh, Kyoto recently, and I met people from a variety of universities that attended these events. Uh, my sense is that the path followed in Japan closely resembles the path that evolved uh, after Chernobyl. And there are more regrettables than non-regrettables in, in that path. It seems like, uh, uh, like, frankly, it's difficult to understand what's going on and what's not going on. From my point of view, the priority, absolute priority, are women of reproductive age. Because whatever befells them will befell their children. And that's the prime principle of prevention. A healthy mother will have a healthy baby. Uh, they have no registry of pregnant women, as far as I know. They could have obtained that at the time of the accident. Uh, but I, as far as I know, even today, there is very little emphasis on these aspects. Everything is concentrated on cancer risk and on adults. Children, for some reason, except for the thyroid, uh, because of this, let's say, scandalous epidemic of thyroid cancer in Ukraine, which is could have been prevented to a very large extent. Uh, that's the only uh, child-oriented emphasis. The rest is all on cancer of adults. So uh, the lessons unlearned in Japan is, is children beyond the scope of 
iodine and thyroid cancer are very important. Of course, so are the genes in the sperm and men's testicles. <laughs> uh, you know, when they're young and before they've reached adolescence and after adolescence, and I think often we ignore that as well, do we not? Well, there are, you know, like everything else, uh, Mendelian genetics, which is the traditional genetics gene mutation chromosome, that apparently is challenged. Radiation, according to the new uh, pioneers, um, is a source of what's called hereditary genomic instability. Mm -hmm. And that is a very disquieting proposition. What it implies is that you can destabilize the genome independently of the DNA. And if you destabilize the genome, the consequences are entirely unpredictable. Genes have predictable, you know, outcomes. But unstable genes at any time, anywhere, anyhow, and uh, you can't predict what the end product will be. So, therefore, you see, looking just at one mutation, cystic fibrosis or achondroplasia, is not the current concern. The current concern is instability. And if you have instability, you cannot become a baby or you cannot stay away from cancer. Can you explain the ge genetic, hereditary genetic instability in more detail, please, so people can understand what you're talking about, Dr. Wesley? Well, I don't think people can understand because the scientists don't understand. <laughs> so, therefore, there are no explanations other than, again, facts. It's unexplained facts. No theory to explain them. No, 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 no basis. Well, what are the facts? Explain. What are the facts that they say? Well, the facts are this, that, that if you have genomic instability, a cell does not make a like cell. It will make something more or less like, but not exactly the same. You cannot make a tissue because instead of having a uniform population of cells that cooperate with each other, you will have rogue cells here and there that do the same. So instead of an organism, you have a disorganism or a disorganized tissue or a disorganized uh, organ. And so this kind of disorganization, which in a way is our aging process and, and our cancer process and so on, has um, unpredictable consequences. Now, the evidence for that is entirely uh, from non-human uh, source. And, uh, of course, our serious uh, instability we'd never hear of is the sperm that never fertilizes is the egg who never becomes uh, fertilized is the fertilized egg who never implants or is the implant who never grows so in other words the attrition what is called theranthanasia and that is the, the, the death before birth uh, sweeps this away, and what you end up having is perhaps perceptible or perhaps not reduction of reproductive fitness. In terms of the born, genomic instability will create sterility or infertility because we need to produce a very complicated thing called the sperm. The, uh, or instability in the sense that you will have a change of rates of, let's say, degenerative diseases like arthritis or this or that or the other. So this is, a, this is a very important emerging issue to know how to measure genomic instability. And they are doing a great job in, in approaching this question uh, through the study of cells in vitro, in other words, in, outside of the organism. Mm. Now, we have a whole host of non-human organisms and birds and butterflies, which in Fukushima, they say, have mutated. 